Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. We're at the post office. Yes. Sending this fat stack of thank you cards mm -hmm. from our registry and our yeah. shower and our gifts and what all the love. What else are we gonna do tonight? Um, I feel like we were just like hoping that the baby would be coming. And we took a wrong gamble and now we like don't have plans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, we got to cook. some work. Yeah. We finished some organization. I got to clean the floors. Maybe that'll put me into labor. Um, yeah, welcome to the vlog. <laughs> I, these are this is 51 stamps. I think it's so funny when you do the self-service kiosk because they have, since we got 51, they gave us the second one, and this block is not valid postage. This is just riveting block. <laughs> <laughs> U.S. Post Service. We've made a decision that is both exciting for our lives, for our bellies, and for the vlog. What? We're going to Marco Yes. We're going to be up front. Like, soon we will tell you more information about our induction date and things along those lines. Stuff has changed, and we really want to go to Marco on South before we have the baby as, like, a full circle moment. Well, yeah, we, so I, because there's uncertainty, we're like, let's just go now and make sure we get this little celebration. I'm in the mindset that it's one, a celebration, and two, you can still go into labor any moment. Yeah. And so maybe if we go to Market on South, the staple food place <laughs> that was always knows. there whenever we like had success or needed success in our like fertility parent journey, then maybe also we'll go eat though. You'll probably have to get something spicy. Yeah. And then maybe you'll go into labor tonight. Joyland IPA by actually a brewing uh, microbrewer that's not far from our apartment called Ivanhoe Brewing Company. Nice. Did you try it yet? Well, it's just a, it's a little sweeter, but just very straight up good old fashioned IPA with a little sweetness. Tangy. Oh my goodness. I wanna trade. You wanna trade? Havesy, Havesy? Sure. Look at that prune. Look at those pickles and cheesy homies. And this was an extra little treat. Fried green tomato. We forgot to set up the camera <laughs> while we were eating. Our time lapse. And uh, we're done. Clean play club. And it was delicious. So good. I feel like I tricked myself because that brew burger Sarah usually gets and I usually have a bite and I'm like, oh, I want my own. But then now that I've had my own, I'm like, I'm never gonna get that on my own again. Like, it's good for it's a bite for so me. It's so good. But I just like the other sandwiches better, or like the salads. It's under. not the most filling, and I think that you always appreciate portion size. Mine was big. I just saw that there's a dog bowl of water <laughs> below our table, and now I wish Eve was here. Smell you later, Mark on self. Is it offensive? Sarah used to get so mad whenever I say, like, to our friends and family, smell you later. <laughs> that you would always get like frustrated. I used to say that to Sarah's grandma a lot. And Sarah would be like, don't say it to Gigi. I'd be like, Gigi, I'll smell you later. <laughs> and you'd get frustrated. It was so funny. She didn't care. She thought it was hilarious. There's pulling at my heartstrings. She's watching all these old monthly recaps because we finally did something we've wanted to get for years. Sarah, what is that? 
an external hard drive. A you five would think terabyte. No, we would have one after daily vlogging for over three years, but we've had like a, a conglomerate of like multiple different ex internals that turned external of different sizes. Yeah. But that's a five terabyte external because our nice Macro Pro was getting clogged up, mm -hmm. full of memory from enough where like I couldn't even open Photoshop. Like it wouldn't even let me open different programs. I had to cut off Sarah to let you know that. So we we keep a finished vlog. We don't keep the raw files or anything like that or the edit files. We keep the file that gets uploaded to YouTube. That's what we keep. We all, we always don't. But Sarah did realize about a month ago, maybe even less than that, mm -hmm. that she was exporting our vlogs whenever we switched over to, to Sarah editing in Premiere. She was exporting them as like 4K, the highest potential <laughs> quality, which above a certain degree on YouTube, especially if you would have, depending on the device or the TV you're watching on, you won't see that difference. So we were, Sarah was saving these out as like six to eight gig files each daily when they only need to be like, what, one and a half, two gigs? Yeah. So, but on top of that, like Sarah just transferred, is transferring like two months of daily vlogs over and that was over 200 and some 200 gigs. Um, so that was, that's been slowly clogging up our MacBook, but now we've got five terabytes and we can make a new system of like every month taking those files and dumping them onto the external. And we ordered the external hard drive this afternoon. It was and, like 12.30. And it arrived in like five hours. That's like That's true. The Chicago, future. That's Chicago speeds, remember? That's just like, I think it's the future. Well, <laughs> remember when we lived downtown? Yeah. They just opened up, like, they just started to offering Amazon Now, which, like, in certain big cities, they offer two-hour delivery for certain kinds of of products. But, like, yes, we live in Orlando, but, like, Orlando's not, like, a Chicago or a New York or an L.A. So, like, they don't offer that kind of speed. But today they did. With the excitement of the bugaboo, I totally forgot to show off these. Look at how beautiful they are in the tongue it says the windy city and there on the red it says chicago and the stars are embroidered it's like oh and it says chicago in the back um this is um suede the blue is suede and then the white is leather and then inside there's another chicago flag both of the shoes are just the same aren't they beautiful this is Peter Brian Brookhart. And I just want to let you know that I believe every human in the entire world should have a Gary Bertier in their life. If you don't know who that is, you should watch Remember the Titans. He's a gentleman and a scholar. I love this movie. Um, we're sad. We are sad. There were massive layoffs. Entertain inter entertainment, entertainment layoffs. Layoffs for the Walt Disney Company tonight. Mostly Equity, which is like stage show, Walt Disney World and Disneyland. Yeah. But Finding Nemo the Musical. Festival of the Lion Festival King. Festival of the Lion King. Hoop Dee Review. Citizens, Citizens of, of Main Street. Street. Citizens of... Citizens of Hollywood. Um, Beauty and the Beast live on stage. A lot of the walk around characters of Galaxy's Edge. So there's like... Things are just like coming up online. This is really sad. Like it, it just is. makes it it's like. It's sad for the cast members. It's sad for the magic. It's sad for the guests. It's sad because not to reverse that is not an easy task. Because you think you have to refit, you have to renegotiate with unions to get jobs listed, to get rehire offers back to those guests, cast members. You have to retrain, refit, re, um, like do all of that bureaucratic stuff and then train and then announce before you can bring that back. So like, I don't think we're gonna see those entertainment offerings return until fall 2021 no, at the that's earliest. Just like your guess. And that's just my guess. I honestly could see it being 2022. Um, Bob J. Peck came out and said that they supposedly are gonna keep the 25% capacity um, while the CDC promotes the six foot recommendation. And to me, what all of the things they've been doing with certain attractions and certain and all the entertainment going away, I don't know if they're going to bring back entertainment. Like I think that's I think it's a byproduct. I think they've done the the analytics to see it and figured out and talked to engineering and facilities and 
and determined that they, and this is all my speculation, that they wouldn't bring back the entertainment while they still have the six foot recommendation. It's just so much of Disney, like somebody pointed out, it's like in their mission statement is the entertainment. In the entertainment. Um, I just feel, I know how hard it is to get to that point in your Disney career to be one of those performers and for it to be how many months is it? Stripped. Like all this time um, and that finding out now this way um, it's just Our hearts are with you. Yeah. And we you know we we look forward to a day. You guys know how much we love going and watching those shows a million times. Like we've seen them all and it's just like Heavy. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Peter was sleeping and I unleashed the cracking on it. Ooh, baby. Just before 1 a.m. Alrighty, today is the 27th. Life consists not in holding good cards, but in playing those you hold well. Josh Billings. Peter and Amy fell asleep on the couch, so I gotta go wake them up. I don't know what today's vlog is, but we had a good, productive day. Like, we needed today to go into, like, total like finalization mode. baby mode. I like baby mode better. I like baby mode. <laughs> you feel good with your work? Yeah. I feel good with my work. Yeah. Yeah. I feel good with some new things coming in for our channel and we promise like we're gonna post as soon as we can about the news about our baby and all of that good stuff and we promise we won't put in any work that we don't want to do we love putting up these vlogs Mm -hmm. so we love being able to look back at them right so you don't you don't gotta say take time for you like we won't do anything that we don't want to do and yeah but you know we like to treat ourselves and in a way doing the vlog is like treating our future selves yeah (laughs) with the vlog to look at right and i mean some vlogs are more elaborate than others maybe it's just a a one-shot vlog but i'm good always is good for a good ramble talk (laughs) it is good to be home it's good to be home We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.